Hi guys, today is the day you've all been waiting for as Logitech G have released their first ever accessories for their pro racing wheel, which is something I know a lot of you have been waiting for. This is the new racing series from Logitech G, details are in the description below including purchasing links. So I'll be showing you what's been released together with the features it has, highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below. Logitech G are also giving away one G923 wheel. I'll give details later on how to enter the giveaway so be sure to hang around to be in a chance of winning one. First up we've got the RS wheel hub which is a real game changer allowing you to attach a wheel of your choice to the wheel hub. There's two versions available one for a PC and Xbox with it having the Xbox encryption chip inside and the other wheel hub is for a PC which is what I have here. So if you own the PlayStation version Version of the Pro Wheel which has the encryption chip for PlayStation compatibility in the wheelbase. Attaching the PC and Xbox wheel hub will provide compatibility for all three platforms so for a PC, Xbox and PlayStation. Opening up the box inside some bolts, an Allen key, some stickers, some documentation and RS wheel hub. Logitech G have introduced two new wheel offerings which can be mounted on the wheel hub. So there's the RS track wheel and the RS round wheel which is what we have here. Opening up the box inside you have the RS round wheel and some documentation. And finally we have the RS shifter and handbrake which doubles up as a sequential shifter and handbrake. Opening up the box, inside you have the handle, a piece of paper with the G-Hub firmware details, a table clamp, the base of the drifter, some documentation and a bag containing an Allen key and four bolts. Taking a closer look at the RS wheel hub, it's made from strong plastic with buttons on the front that are similar to the Pro Racing GTD rim but with a few subtle changes. Like the orientation on the right dial has changed, it now points to the side instead of pointing towards you, providing easy adjustability with the tips of your fingers. There's also a light sync rev counter at the top which is configurable and a single LED light at the bottom. Around the center you have six bolt holes used to attach the wheel rim together with an additional three holes, one on either side of the shifters and a third at the bottom which are secured from the back to keep the rim even more secure. Coming around the back you have your gear shifters but you no longer have the dual clutch paddles which come with the pro racing wheels. The gear shifters have a brushed metallic effect and are magnetic with a nice clicky sound when pressing down. They're adjustable so you can adjust them by 12 millimeters to suit different wheel sizes by unscrewing the two screws and pushing the shifters in or out. You can also completely remove them by removing the screws and pulling the shifters away. You also have an integrated quick release system which has a friction free fit to fit the pro wheelbase. Now onto the RS round wheel and taking a closer look it measures 29 centimeters or 11.4 inches in diameter with a low carbon aluminium wheel rim and a silicon leather stitched all the way round with a white coloured centre marker at the top. You've got a G logo in the middle. The build quality feels good with the edges nicely moulded round the aluminium spokes with the silicon leather stitched together on the inner part of the rim. There's no indents on the wheel as it's smooth all the way round making it perfect for rallying or drifting. Now attaching the RS round wheel to the hub is really easy. Place the wheel on top of the hub and slot it into position making sure the buttons on the right and left are inserted into the holes on the spokes. Then add all six bolts in the middle and screw them in using the allen key provided. Next turn it over and add the screws at the back of the hub. The first screw is attached at the bottom spoke and the other two are screwed in behind the shifters. And finally taking a look at the RS shifter and handbrake. It's encased in strong plastic. At the top you've got the G logo and below that you've got two holes where the handle would be screwed in. Use the top one if you're planning to use it as a handbrake and the bottom one with the blue rim around it would be used if you wanted to use it as a sequential shifter. And this is where you'd push a handle up or down to change gears which gives a clicky sound but you can't use it as a shifter and handbrake at the same time it's one or the other. Looking at the handle with the rod and handle being metal but the top has a plastic cap together with the bottom part being plastic where you can unscrew the knob to increase the height of it from 18 and a half centimeters to 23 and a half centimeters. 
at the back you have a cable which has a USB-A connector at the end where the cable is 248 centimeters in length. You've got mounting holes at the side and bottom for attaching to the desk clamp that's provided or you can use the holes to mount it on a sim rig. On the front you've got a toggle switch to change modes. The one on the left is the sequential mode. The middle is the digital handbrake mode which is necessary as some games especially on PlayStation don't support the handbrake and this actuates the circle button on the wheel. And on the right is the handbrake axis mode, giving you a proportional response on the handbrake lever. The clamp provided is made of metal and the turn knob for the bracket is made of plastic. Fully closed, it leaves a gap of 0.5 centimeters and fully open, you have a gap of six and a half centimeters. The RS shifter and handbrake is compatible on all Pro Series wheelbases and you can connect it directly to the back of the wheelbase with a USB-A cable. For the entry level G series wheels, so the G923, G920 and the G29, to use it with the PlayStation or Xbox, you'd need to get the Logitech racing adapter. But with this, you can only use one RS shifter and handbrake as connecting two is just not possible. You can connect the RS shifter and handbrake directly to a PC to use it with other ecosystems. But on the G series wheels, there are some titles that won't support the RS shifter handbrake like Asserta Corsa, Asserta Corsa Competizione, Forza 3, 4 and 5 together with Forza Motorsport and Gran Turismo 7. This is because the titles don't allow you to reassign the gear shift controls on the G-Series wheels as they're locked in and there's no way to change them. You can however use them on rally titles. Let's move on and take a look at what you can see in the Logitech G-Hub software. But just to note this functionality of looking at the settings and making adjustments is only available on a PC or Mac, but not on a console. With the new wheel attached in the app, the wheelbase is shown as the RS wheel hub. Clicking on Pro, you have different adjustments you can make on the different devices. So looking from the top in assignments, this is where you can customize each of the buttons on the RS wheel hub. The steering wheel gives you access to the sensitivity on the wheel, the operating range, the dampener, the strength where you can adjust the torque levels together with the force feedback filter. On the pedals, you can adjust the settings on each of the pedals and even combine them if required. And then you have the adjustments for the shifter and handbrake. The shift sensitivity allows you to adjust the actuation point of the sequential shifter. The digital handbrake actuation lets you adjust the position point of the actuation in the handbrake's physical movement. And the handbrake sensitivity lets you adjust the handbrake axis. The light sync option lets you customize the LEDs on the top of the RS wheel hub and customize the LEDs to your own custom colors, effects and brightness. So let's test out these products. I'll be testing them on my sim cockpit from Next Level Racing. This is the GT Elite. My monitor is 48 inches in size, which is the LG Ultra Gear 48 GQ900 OLED gaming monitor. And the wheelbase that I've set up is the PlayStation version of the Pro Wheel. And I've got the Pro pedals too. Let's get the drifter attached to my rig. And there's four holes, one in each corner, with there being ample room to place a screw in and tighten. I'll be using this one as a shifter. And I've got another one, which I'll be using as a handbrake. Let's jump in and test this out. First of all, testing out the RS round wheel. It feels really good. There doesn't seem to be any compromises in terms of quality as with all of Logitech's products. The wheel feels very similar to the Pro wheel, but no shallow D shape at the bottom, which makes it perfect for rallying and drifting. Personally, I would have preferred a slightly larger rim as it does feel a little bit small, but the grip with a silicon lever feels good. And even without gloves on, I don't feel any discomfort or friction on my thumb area, even after using it for a couple of hours. I love the fact that you have the option of removing the paddle shifters if you didn't want them on there, which gives a nice bit of flexibility on the RS hub. The controls on the wheel are all in easy reach and it's good they've made the bottom dials point out to make it even easier to make quick adjustments if you needed. There's an LED light on the bottom which changes color depending on the platform you're using. So it turns green when you're playing on a PC and blue when you're playing on a PlayStation. I like the addition of having a rev counter on the wheel and with the RS wheel hub attached, the LED rev counters on the wheelbase get disabled. Colors look really good and going into settings on the wheelbase, you can adjust the brightness and switch between the different modes of operation. 
Overall, I'm really impressed with what Logitech G has come up with. The new RS wheel hub gives you the ability to switch wheels and opens up the possibility of giving you the flexibility to maybe even create your own wheels, making this a real game changer. It's just a shame they've dropped the two clutch pedals from this as I feel they should have included them so that you can choose if you want them or not. On to testing out the RS shifter and handbrake. I've got two of these set up on my rig as I'll be using one as a shifter and the other as a handbrake. I've set them up side by side but you can mount one on top of the other using the mount they provide. The one closest to me is used as a sequential shifter and the other is the handbrake. I've mounted them directly onto the mounting plate to give the most stable mounting position but you could in theory use a desk lamp. Both feel rock solid with no flex or unwanted movement when changing gears or using the handbrake. The sequential shifting feels good when shifting between gears and gives a really smooth and accurate response. It has quite a distinctive click as you change gears with good performance. Now switching over to the handbrake and the handle is in the top position and the switch at the bottom has been switched to the handbrake mode. The handbrake feels good providing a straight brake travel, driving along and pulling back slowly to engage it. It works as expected. The handbrake does have a nice feel to it. Tension levels are fine with it not being too heavy as you pull back. I'd say performance wise in both the modes it performs really well but I would have liked to see some further adjustments at the mechanical level where you could maybe make some slight adjustments on there to maybe make it feel slightly different. Price wise Logitech G have changed things around a little bit as you have the ability of choosing the pro wheelbase for a PC with the cost dropping to just under $600 plus you can now buy the standalone pro wheelbase for PlayStation for just under $700. And these will be available from the 17th of September. The RS wheel hub for PC will cost just under $130 and the Xbox version will cost just under $150. With both the RS track wheel and RS round wheel expected to be just under $70. The RS shifter and handbrake will be available in the EU from the 17th of September and from October everywhere else costing just under $150. So there you have it, you've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below including purchasing links and if you have any questions on this let me know in the comments below. For those of you who've got to the end of this video please leave a comment with Logiplay as it's awesome to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now to be in with a chance of winning a Logitech G923 tell us which is your favourite Logitech G product. The winner will be drawn at the end of September and the giveaway is only open for UK and Ireland. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.